In this video, we're going to talk about customers and organizations within a JSM project. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And most importantly, don't forget to check out the links down in the description below, as you will be able to find all the different links to my merch store, to my paid courses, and of course, to start trials for my sponsors of this video. Don't want to sleep in, because I got something to prove. I got to take what I hate and finally make a move. Let's jump into JSM and talk a little bit about what is a customer, what's an organization, and why you should care if you're a JSM user. In a JSM project, you have something called a customer. Now, customers have been around since the beginning of time, and most companies already know how to use customers really, really well. But in case you're new to the customer role, let me tell you what a customer is. A customer is a free, and I do put this in air quotes because you don't pay for them, right? But they are a free user who is allowed to submit issues to your JSM projects. Now, recently, Atlassian has updated the permission so that you can fine tune which portals those customers get access to. But at the end of the day, a customer is any person, whether it's internal or external to your company, that does not consume a JSM license, which means they're not an agent. They don't necessarily have to consume a Jira software license either, right? They get a special license. It's a totally free license and they get to become what's called a customer, okay? So that's essentially what a customer is. And it's a very, very useful way to be able to manage any client or customer that you may actually have, whether again, internal or external, that is able to submit tickets to your JSM. Now the organization is basically a collector of those customers. So let's just say you had two clients that you work with. Well, you would create an organization for client A and an organization for client B, and then you would put your customers in there. And now you're gonna enable some other cool stuff that we're gonna show you in this video that you're able to do when a customer belongs to an organization. Because out of the box, a customer is able to see their requests and only their requests. But when you enable them to be inside of an organization, they're gonna get some cooler features that we're gonna be talking about in a little bit as well. So let me show you how to manage these customers and these organizations. And I'm going to give you some best practices so that you don't make mistakes that most people will do when they don't know how to deal with customers and organizations. So let's jump into JSM. Every development team has unique DevOps challenges. That's why Release Team offers the right solutions to fit your needs. Their expert staff works with you to understand your goals, explore your options, and deliver a solution tailored to your objectives and culture. Release Team is your trusted partner for responsive, progressive, and modern DevOps consulting services. Visit releaseteam.com slash services. In your left-hand side, you're gonna find that you have a customer section over here. You're gonna click on that. And in this page, you're gonna be able to do one of two things. You're either gonna be able to add a customer or add an organization. Now, if you're paying attention, you're gonna to wanna to listen to these words here. You want to start by creating your organization first. Now, this might be a little bit challenging because as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, most folks already have customers. And so you're gonna to have to do it in reverse order. But if you're brand new, the easiest way to do this is to start with your organization and then add your customers. Because if you have your customers already and then you go create the organization, things are gonna be a little bit trickier. I will explain that scenario in a moment. But first, let's focus on the easy path. Let's focus on if you're brand new, let's go create a new organization and show you how to add customers to it because it's very, very intuitive and very, very easy. So we're gonna start off by adding an organization. So we're gonna click on this Add Organization button and you would add an organization. Now, if you already have an existing one, it'll show up in the dropdown, or let's just say that Apple's one of my organizations and I'm gonna click Add here and that organization is now available. Now, if I go into my organization of Apple, it's gonna be completely empty, right? And that's okay. This is what we want because we don't want to add customers from here at this point. You want to avoid this add customers at this screen because if you do that, the customer that is added is gonna be treated as an individual, but you do and will be able to, well, let me show you real quick. If you click on this button here, you're gonna be able to add the individual's email and fortunately, if your organization exists already, you will be able to select from the organization. But I think a cleaner way of doing it is to go into the organization already and simply add the customer here because then you can guarantee that you're not going to accidentally pick the wrong organization. So all you have to do here is put Tim Cook at apple.com and you're gonna click on okay. 
And once you do that, you'll notice that timcook at apple.com is now in here and you're going to be able to receive requests from Tim. Now, if I wanted to add more people, another customer, I have two options. When I'm adding customers, I could add like steve at apple.com. And if I wanted to add, let's say Johnny, well, I can simply click add and do Johnny at apple.com. And this way I can add a couple more without having to redo this whole thing over and over. So let's just go with those three there and we'll click okay. And now I have my three customers of Johnny, Steve, and Tim. Now, these individuals are going to be able to submit tickets and they're gonna be able to leverage a really cool functionality that I'm about to show you in a second. But first, let's cover that second scenario. Let's assume that you already have a customer. How do we add them to a new organization? Need a skilled DevOps staff right now? Let Release Team help. Use their skills and experience to ensure you remain efficient and productive while hunting down the right addition to your team. Visit releaseteam.com slash staffing. Well, let's go create, let's go back to the customers page over here and we're going to add a customer and just call it someone at youareawesome.com and we are not going to pick an organization. We're simply gonna click okay. And so this customer exists. Now, most people I suspect are gonna fall under this camp where they simply have these individuals already that exist. They're, they've been using JSM for a while, but they just haven't leveraged the organization role. And that's okay, right? So expect to have some of these people. So adding these individuals to an organization is not very easy. There's no button that does it for you. So let me show you how to do this. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna select their email and make sure you copy that. And then you're gonna wanna go into the organization that you want them to be in. You're gonna click on the add customer and then you're gonna paste in their email there. This is very, very critical. Paste their exact email. Click okay. And then that someone is gonna be in here. Now you may be thinking, well, they're still in the last page, but no, they're not. If I go back to customers, you'll notice that they are now gone from here. And if I go back into Apple, that individual shows up here now. So this is good. This is what you want, all right? And then we're done. So that is the second option, right? Now, unfortunately, you're gonna have to do this one by one for every single customer that you have to add them to your organization. But at this point, you're like, Alex, so what's the value? What is the point in adding these customers to these organizations? So let me tell you why having an organization is an important thing to do and why you should consider doing this. When an individual, a customer, one individual, one person, submits a request to JSM, they will have in their portal on the top right corner, the ability to go see and check up on their requests. However, when that individual belongs to an organization, they will be able to see not only their requests, but also other people that are in their organization's requests. And so it just depends on how you wanna configure your JSM. But if, if a manager, for example, wants to be able to see all the requests that somebody from the organization has submitted, maybe your customer success manager for your client or whatever wants to see everything that their team's submitting, then by enabling this organization, that individual can go in and see all the requests. But how do we enable this? How does this come to life? Well, you gotta go to project settings and under project settings, you go to portal settings and under portal settings, we're gonna go to channel access. You're gonna click on this edit customer permissions button. And here you have a customer sharing option. Now you have three options here. Option one is that customers can search for other customers within their organization. That means that if, if Tom from this client has three individuals that have been submitting requests, well, Tom can see everybody's in the organization. So Tom can see those three people. The other option here is option number two is that Tom can go and look for the same thing, right? Tom can see the three other members of his organization or they can enter the email of another person. And as long as that other person has access to the same project, right? And then they can be able to see that other person from maybe a different organization's request as well. And then the third option here is customers can search for custom other customers within their project or organization. That means without having to put in the emails, any request that's in this project, they're gonna be able to basically see them. So it's up to you how you wanna set this up, but obviously the first option is, I think the safest because it's just contained to that organization, but it allows this to happen easier when you use your organizations because now if your customers belong to an organization, 
then they're going to be able to see all the requests from their organization. And trust me that this is really, really helpful because, like, for example, I submit a request to Atlassian all the time and other pe people from my team might be able to submit requests to Atlassian all the time as well. But since I own Atlassian for this particular team, then I want to be able to see what other people are also submitting because they should be coming to me first, right? So with this functionality enabled, I'm able to go into the portal and see what my entire organization is submitting. And you can't do this if you don't enable the organization and put everybody correctly. So I think it's a little bit of an overhead step, but it's a really, really cool step that I think if you're using JSM and you have a large customer base, you should definitely be using. Agility shouldn't compromise reliability. Release Team works with organizations to improve, adapt, and modernize their software development lifecycle methodology. Their experts know the tools, processes, and best practices to help you realize your DevOps goals. Elevate your software deployment game with Release Team services. Visit releaseteam.com slash services. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed down there, you want to hit that red subscribe button or white, whatever color it is for you on your screen. But make sure you smash that subscribe button. And finally, share this video, click on the link in the description, get my t-shirts, get my paid courses, and most importantly, get a free trial for one of my many sponsors. That's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. So fight and fight.